What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kai, and today we're going to be giving you three books that literally doubled my income. When I tell you all these books that I'm going to give you today are literally able, if you take the ideas and definitely have an open mind, uh, the strategies that they give you, and I'm going to do a little bit of explaining on the books as we go through out the YouTube video and etc. All right. So, like I said, these books help me increase my income. Some of them are self improvement. Some of them are business ideas. Now we're going to go through all this on this channel. All right. So before we start the video, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like that way you'll be notified every time your boy drop a fire video. My whole goal of reading these books, and I'm pretty sure the top 5% also of is to gain more awareness is to gain definitely more awareness. So within the books, as you're reading the books, you gain more awareness of knowledge and things that are happening around you. Therefore, you're able to be able to fix those things, like especially income, uh, it may be mindset. It's a lot of things out here and it's a lot of books out here to be able to read. But the whole point is, as you read these books, you become more aware. And when you become aware, you're able to think about ways on how you can fix these situations uh, whether it be income, whether it be, uh, you suffering from thinking negative, positive, there's a lot of things out here, but we're going to go over these three specific books that help me double my income and also mindset. All right. So my first one is going to be the go giver. The go giver is a great book. And I had to put this first because I had to explain this a little bit more because most people uh, see the title and they'll say the go-giver. Don't they mean like the go-getter, something like that? No, they don't mean the go-getter. Uh, actually, it, the book teaches that 99% of people try to be what we call a go-getter. They try to go get things instead, instead of giving and, and being ready to receive. We're going to talk about a little bit more inside this video. Now, when most people hear me say the title go giver or they hear me say anything about giving they think in the terms I'm saying about money no as a matter of fact the book doesn't say anything about giving money at all you're gonna see all on exactly what this book means because we're gonna go through just a little bit summary of the book and you guys can go out on course and get it from Amazon or whoever you're gonna be able to get it from all right so the first thing about this book that you're gonna notice is that I'll do a little bit of explaining of it is you're going to have a person, you're going to have two persons, two main persons within the book, and that's going to be Joe and Pindar. And Joe is going to basically be the person that's going to be learning with inside the book from this guy named Pindar, this successful guy named Pindar. Pindar is going to take Joe through a, a series of phases through life so he can understand five laws, which these are going to be the five laws within this book. Now, out the five laws out this book, I'm going to give you guys a couple of them, the ones that stood out to me technically, and hopefully those can help you out and encourage you to also go get the book. So one of the first laws that stood out was definitely the law of value. The law of value simply states as long as you give more in value than you take in compensation, you will never have to worry about money a day in your life. This is basically saying that all the great fortunes of people were known to give and not in sense of money, but in terms of value, ideas, product, service. They tried to give more than they actually tried to take in compensation. All right, so the next one is going to be law of compensation. Law of compensation simply states that your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve those people. Basically, to sum it all up, if you want to become more successful, find a way to serve more people. And of course, the next one, the law of receptivity. This one definitely stood out. This is going to bring everything in hold that you read in the book. This is actually the last chapter because it brings everything in hold. It basically explains exactly how giving is the ultimate way to receive. All right, and like I said, these are not terms exactly money at all. Most people, most of the greats actually push their ideas out more than money 
or more in terms to try to get things like a new Mercedes or a new car or anything like that. They tried to push their product, service, uh, or ideas out to the market with value. All right, so my next one is going to be Lead the Field uh, by Earl Nightingale. This is actually a great book. Also, it teaches that a lot of people actually do not think about what's going on every day. It basically teaches that most people conform. And by conform, I mean that most people just grow up in life and they tend to do what everybody else do. He talks about like within the book that if you go ask the average male, on exactly why they wake up in the morning, they'll tell you, I have to go to work. And if you ask them exactly why you go to, why he goes to work, he'll answer and say something like, well, that's because everybody else gets up and, and goes to work because everybody else does that. That's what people do, get up and go to work. So conformity was one thing, but also within that, uh, with the man saying that he, he didn't know what he was getting up for, he basically was saying that he didn't know what he was headed towards within the book, right? So the book teaches that you, we do not actually think about what we're headed towards, right? So the man didn't get up with an idea or a plan or an idea that he was headed towards. He didn't say, hey, listen, uh, I'm working this job and I'm getting up this morning and I'm headed towards this certain goal or I'm getting up this morning and I'm headed towards a certain idea or something like that, right? He basically says throughout the whole book that people, people that have money are considered successful nowadays, but that's not the typical definition of success. The typical definition of success, well, the actual definition of success is moving towards a progressive goal, right? So the fact that you're progressively moving towards something, right? An idea, a service, or it can be anything. I want to be able to become a lawyer. That is a goal. You're moving towards that goal. Or I want to start a multi-million dollar company. That is a goal, right? But within the book, what he teaches is, is most people don't even have that number at the beginning, right? Most people don't even know they want to be a multi-millionaire. Most people don't know, hey, listen, I want to make a million dollars this year. And also, if I want to make a million dollars this year, he teaches you have to think a little bit more. Think towards the idea, right? Put thought towards the idea. So if I'm thinking about how to get a million dollars, right? If I'm constantly thinking about how to get a million dollars, right? I'm going to be in that thought process to where I'm constantly thinking about how to get a million dollars. And I'm going to find ways right within this earth. I'm going to find ways that come to me that I'll eventually end up getting that a million dollars. Now, it's not a time frame on it, not a time frame on it. But as long as I'm progressively moving towards that goal, I'm successful in my own right. All right. So my next one, I currently don't have this one. This is going to be at another house that I had to go out and get. Didn't feel like going out to go ahead and get the book, but it don't matter. We about to get ready to go ahead and tell you my opinion on this book. All right, so this is going to be The Magic of Thinking Big. This is going to be also a very great book, y'all. Like when I say with inside this book, when you really read it and break down everything that's going on inside the book, it really teaches you that your thought process is really off. Like it teaches you that your thought process process is off. Whatever you think is not factual and whatever you actually put energy on thinking is what happens. So if I say, hey, listen, uh, I'm never going to be able to obtain a Mercedes Benz, then of course I'm never going to be able to obtain a Mercedes Benz. Also, it teaches you to think bigger. So if my goal was to make a million dollars this year, I need to be thinking about how to make $10 million this year, right? Because if I'm thinking about how to make $10 million a year, ultimately that million is going to come by anyway, right? And also that whole meaning can mean think 10 times bolder in any situation. So what if I was 10 times bolder in every situation, right? In every situation. If I'm about to get ready to go close a sale or a deal or anything like that, right? If I have any type of negative thoughts, ask yourself, 
What if I was 10 times bolder? What exactly would I do? What would you do? If you were 10 times bolder in a situation that you're thinking right now, what would you do in that situation? So that's it for today. Like I said, with them reading these books and I haven't just read them one time, y'all. Like read them over and over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, to I really got my own opinion on the book. All right, because that's the true meaning of actually reading the books to be able to read them so much or get your own opinion about the book or what exactly is, what are they saying inside the book, right? Don't just go off somebody else's meaning. Actually read the book and get your own meaning and understanding of exactly what's going on and then you truly get the meaning of the book. All right, guys, that's it for today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with a video to help you for 2022. This is Kai Gibson and I'm out.